Do we want to be a show for people? One of the biggest diseases is when we worry about others. Brother, worry about your own life. So many problems come about because people worry about what others are going to say. Brother, lead your life, the others will follow. I remember there was, and I have to bring this because it's to do with happiness in the family. A lot of people lose happiness because today, what's happening is, the young out here, if you're not married, please put up your hand. Guys, before we leave the masjid, most of you will be married, inshallah. <laughs> I see all the intelligent ones were saying, Ameen. <laughs> the others were just laughing. Subhanallah, say Ameen. It, it was a dua, you know. If we followed the proper system that, of Islam that is so simple, free of racism, nepotism, tribalism, whatever elseism, and free of materialism, etc., etc., we would have been married a long time back. The problem with us is, I'm worried about this one. What will happen if I married, if I allow my child to marry that guy? What's my brother and my, my family and my community going to say? Trust me, they will say nothing. They will learn from you. They will talk for a little while until their children come up. I know of a marriage right now that's being blocked, but the guy is a lovely guy, same nationality, same whatever, same in so many different ways, but the folks are saying, you know what? If you, as a father of the girl, allows this to happen, what's going to happen to our daughters? They're also going to want to do the same well what's wrong they will probably do something that you will have to hide your face regarding this is honorable man let it happen let it be that's one of the reasons why we're not happy in our families is we're blocking what Allah did not block remember this we're stopping what Allah did not stop we're disallowing what Allah allowed so how can you be happy how are you going to have a happy home towards a happy home you want to walk in that direction don't disallow what Allah allowed if Allah allowed it, learn as a good Muslim, like I started by saying your happiness is by developing your relationship with Allah. Wasn't that my first point? So if Allah said, allow this, you're saying, no, I won't. Well, then forget about your happiness. It's not going to come. If Allah says, look at this point and this point, you know, I can tell you something about marriage. You look at deen and khuluq. And the hadith says, if the deen is good, if the akhlaq are, are, are great, and so on, and, the, and both of them would like to marry one another. If you're not going to let that happen, the same hadith says there will be fitna and fasad on earth. People don't want to hear that hadith. They don't even want to hear it. Sometimes religious people don't want to hear it. But the world out there is filled with adultery, fornication, whatever else it, it is. If you're trying to get into marriage, you need to know you're going to need to help people get out of whatever you may consider unacceptable. And to do that, you have to go back to Allah. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. A lot of the people are suffering. I'm not going to ask you to raise your hands if you relate to what I've just said, because I think we won't be able to count the hands. My brothers and sisters, it's a reality. Make things easy. Make halal easy. Allah will give you happiness. If you make halal easy, you've made haram difficult. And if you've made halal difficult, you've made haram easy. Don't let your pride and your ego drive you beyond what Allah has told you. Not at all. It shouldn't be there. And these words, people don't like to hear them. But if you want happiness in the family, and that's the topic today, you have to start off by understanding the children I have, the family I have. I'm just a member. Do you know something that makes me amazed? If Allah wanted, he could have created us singular. So you have no family. It's just me. If he wanted, he could have done that. We could have grown from the ground like the trees. You know? It's just me. I'm alone. Singular. But Allah wanted us to feel better. To have a type of a life where... We are empowered by those around us. They support us so we live and we can actually have interactions that are beneficial for us. Every interaction will either take you towards Jannah, which is paradise, or towards hellfire, which is Jahannam. Every interaction is one of the two. Every time something happens, ask yourself, if the Prophet ﷺ was here, what would he have told me? And if does Allah allow this or does he not allow it? How can I actually earn a reward and how can I protect myself from the opposite? As simple as that. So each time something happens, it's from Allah. I was saying, if Allah wanted, he could have made us singular. But Allah made us in order that we can earn closeness to him. 
We've got people around us. Imagine you have a spouse, you have children, you have parents, you have brothers, you have sisters. That family unit is so powerful, so powerful, so powerful that the Hadith and the Quran tells us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards a person who mends broken family ties so immensely and intensely that they would earn Jannah by solving a problem in the home. But with us, we're looking for how we can split the house, break the house. And sometimes we are the problem and blaming someone else. We are the problem because we're not following what Allah said. And we're telling someone else, you're the problem because you know what? We're too proud to admit that we are wrong. House is broken, not because of who you think broke it, because of you. You are the culprit. That's what happens. May Allah safeguard us. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too, so please consider sharing. And we will bring more videos in the future, inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallahu khairan.